Hello, dear friends. In a quaint village nestled at the base of a towering mountain, there lived a young man who had gained a reputation for his laziness. Unlike the other villagers who spent their days diligently working in the fields and workshops, this young man preferred the comfort of a large tree's shade. Day after day, he would lie beneath the tree, either dozing off or lost in his daydreams, with little interest in the hustle and bustle of village life. The villagers often spoke about him, some with pity and others with frustration. Why doesn't he help in the fields? They would ask each other. Doesn't he see how much work there is to be done? But the young man paid no heed to their words, content with his idle ways. One day, a wise and knowledgeable monk visited the village. This monk, known for his wisdom, would often travel from place to place, offering guidance and seeking alms. As he made his way through the village, he couldn't help but notice the young man who was always lying under the same tree, seemingly without a care in the world. Curious about the young man's constant idleness, the monk approached him. Why do you lie here all the time? The monk asked gently. Why do you not join the others in working the fields? The young man barely opened his eyes and replied in a lazy tone, Oh, just let me sleep. Working in the fields is hard, and I don't have the energy or desire to do it. The monk observed the young man for a moment, noting his lack of ambition. But instead of scolding him, the monk decided to take a different approach. Tell me, the monk asked, do you wish to become rich? This question piqued the young man's interest. He sat up, his curiosity now awakened. Of course I want to be rich, he exclaimed. Who wouldn't? Can you help me become wealthy? The monk smiled kindly and nodded. Indeed I can help you, he said. Behind that mountain there is a hidden cave. Inside this cave lies a precious diamond, more valuable than anything you can imagine. If you find it, you will be rich beyond your wildest dreams. The young man's eyes widened at the thought of such a treasure. The idea of living a life of luxury and ease without the need for hard work was incredibly appealing to him. However, his excitement was quickly tempered by a thought that crossed his mind. But the mountain is so tall and difficult to climb, the young man said, his voice now tinged with doubt. It would take a lot of effort to reach that cave. The monk nodded, acknowledging the young man's hesitation. Yes, the journey will not be easy, he admitted. The path is steep, and there will be many challenges along the way. But if you truly desire the diamond, the reward will be worth the effort. The young man fell silent, contemplating the monk's words. On one hand, he longed for the wealth that the diamond could bring, but on the other, the thought of enduring hardship and struggle was daunting to him. He wondered if there might be an easier way to achieve his goal without having to leave the comfort of his beloved tree. The monk, seeing the young man's inner conflict, offered a final piece of advice. Remember, he said, True wealth is not only in material riches, but also in the wisdom and strength gained through the journey. The choice is yours. Remain here in comfort, or take the first step toward a greater reward. With that, the monk left the young man to ponder his decision. The villagers continued with their daily tasks, unaware of the conversation that had just taken place under the old tree. As the sun set behind the mountain, casting long shadows over the village, the young man remained deep in thought, weighing his options and wondering what path he would choose. If you can't even handle this, then it's better to give up, the monk said sternly. The young man, feeling challenged, replied, Wait, I'll do it, and began to walk away, determined. The monk looked at him and asked, Are you truly being honest with yourself? Yes, I am, the young man answered. But then he added with concern, It's just that it's really hard to get to the cave. It's on the other side of the mountain. The monk reassured him with a calm smile. Yes, it's difficult, but that's part of the journey. Hearing about the diamond hidden in the cave excited the young man. The thought of finding such a treasure filled him with energy, and he quickly set off on his adventure. He started climbing the mountain, driven by the promise of the diamond. The path was steep, and he found himself getting tired quickly. The rocks were slippery, the air was thin, and the climb seemed endless. But each time he thought about the diamond waiting for him, he felt a renewed sense of purpose. The cool mountain breeze helped too, refreshing him as he climbed higher and higher. After hours of climbing, his legs ached, and his body was drenched in sweat. 
But when he finally reached the top of the mountain, he was greeted by a breathtaking view. The vast landscape stretched out before him, with the sun casting a golden glow over everything. For a moment, he forgot about his exhaustion and just stood there, amazed by the beauty around him. He felt a deep sense of accomplishment. He had made it to the top. But his journey wasn't over yet. He still had to descend the mountain, and this would be even more challenging and dangerous. As he began to make his way down, the young man realized just how treacherous the path was. The rocks were loose, and he stumbled and fell several times, scraping his hands and knees. The descent was much harder than he had expected, but each time he thought about the diamond, he pushed himself to keep going. The promise of that treasure gave him the strength to carry on, even when it seemed like he couldn't take another step. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, he reached the cave. His heart raced with anticipation as he stepped inside, hoping to find the diamond. But to his dismay, the cave was empty. He looked around in disbelief, searching every corner, but there was no sign of the diamond. Frustrated and disappointed, he sat down, wondering why the monk had sent him on this wild chase. He had gone through so much, and now he had nothing to show for it. The young man felt a deep sense of despair. He didn't have the strength to climb back up the mountain, and he couldn't stay in the cave forever. For a brief moment, he thought about giving up entirely, about just sitting there and letting whatever happened next, happen. But as he sat there, something inside him began to stir. He realized that he couldn't just give up. He had come this far. And even though he hadn't found the diamond he was looking for, he still had to return. Gathering all his remaining strength, he stood up and started the long, arduous journey back. Every step was a struggle, but he kept moving forward, one foot in front of the other. The climb back up the mountain was just as tough as before, but this time, he felt a new sense of determination. He knew he had to make it back to the village. After many hours of hard work, he finally reached the village. Exhausted and worn out, he went straight to the monk. When the monk saw him, he smiled warmly and said, Oh, you've returned. The young man, still catching his breath, looked at the monk with confusion and frustration. Why did you lie to me? he asked, his voice filled with both anger and disappointment. There was no diamond in the cave. The monk looked at him with gentle eyes and said, but I believe you have found a diamond after all. The young man was puzzled by the monk's words. What do you mean? The cave was empty, he replied. The monk continued, You have discovered the diamond of effort, my dear friend. Before, you were too lazy to even work in the fields. But now, you've climbed a mountain, descended into a cave, and made it back here. You've become diligent and strong, just like a diamond. This experience has shown you that with hard work and determination, you can achieve anything in life. The young man stood there, slowly realizing the truth in the monk's words. His laziness had held him back before, making him think that he couldn't achieve great things. But now, after facing so many challenges, he had proven to himself that he was capable of much more than he had ever imagined. He hadn't found the diamond he expected, but he had found something far more valuable, the strength and diligence within himself. With this new understanding, the young man felt a sense of peace. He thanked the monk for helping him see the truth and left to return to his fields. From that day on, he worked with dedication and determination, knowing that the diamond of effort would help him overcome any obstacle in his life. He knew that as long as he kept that lesson in his heart, he could achieve anything he set his mind to. We often feel lazy and put things off in our daily lives, and this story shows why that happens. The main reason for laziness is a lack of motivation. People without clear goals or purpose tend to be more sluggish. In the story, the young man was lazy at first, but after hearing about a valuable diamond from the monk, he became determined to find it. Similarly, when we don't have a clear goal, we lose motivation and become lazy. But when we set a goal and strongly desire to achieve it, laziness disappears, and we become motivated to work toward it. Another reason for laziness is having easy options. The young man felt comfortable in his village because he had easy access to food and shelter. However, when he left the mountain, he realized he had to make an effort to survive. With no easy options left, he was forced to take action 
and return. When life gives us easy choices, we often don't push ourselves. But by putting ourselves in situations where success is the only option, we can overcome laziness and develop determination. The third reason for laziness is not recognizing our own abilities. The young man didn't believe he could climb the mountain and return, but once he did, his confidence grew, and he realized his potential. This shows that we often fail to see our hidden talents because of laziness and procrastination. When we start believing in ourselves, we can achieve anything. The story highlights the importance of hard work for success and personal growth. It requires consistent effort, even when things are tough or tiring. Diligence turns potential into reality, helping us develop our skills, achieve our goals, and live fulfilling lives. Laziness is a challenge to overcome, not something to accept or tolerate. By adopting a diligent mindset and setting high goals, we can push ourselves to reach even what seems impossible. So, let's overcome laziness, discover our inner potential, and pursue a happy and successful life, knowing that the real treasure lies in our unwavering determination and hard work. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and support. Remember to share, like, and subscribe to show your support. I'll see you tomorrow back here on YouTube. Take care.